What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video. So in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create the DC Comics character Green Arrow from the Arrow TV show using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come over here and choose a custom character slot. You can overwrite one, you can start over, you know, whatever you want to do. We're going to go with custom 2 here, because custom 1 has hybrid, which is a character I previously made. So, first off, well, obviously we're going to be making the Green Arrow, the Stephen Amell version from the Arrow TV show. And we are going to be giving him a weapon and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but we're going to start off with the appearance, obviously. So we don't need any hair, but we do need a headpiece, and this is the headpiece I originally settled on, but after I unlocked, uh, if I can find him, somewhere up here, I believe. Is that? No, that's not him. Yes, that's it, Gorgon. After I unlocked Gorgon, this one looks perfect to me, to be honest. So I'm going to go with the Gorgon head, and then I'm going to go with Helmet, and we're going to give him a... Obviously a green hood. I believe it's this green. We'll find out in a minute when I choose the specific torso piece. We'll just match that color. And believe it or not, you're also going to have an attachment. And that attachment is going to be, of course, a quiver. There you go. Already starting to look pretty cool. Now then, for the body, we're actually going to be going with Baron Mordo. If I can find him. There he is, Baron Mordo. Nice. Uh, for the arms, you're just going to make them green. So we're gonna go all the way to the top. Let's see what other arms they got there. Eh, yeah, I kind of just like them green, personally. Just full on green. I would have kind of made them a bit more like the new suit, which I think on the arms you can see a bit of his skin, but I just thought, nah, we'll just, we'll just stick with green. So that's both arms that are green. Then of course the hands, you want to make them black for his gloves. There you go, very nice. And then for the hips, I think it's just the same. I think it's green. Just checking to see if there's any other stuff I could use. No, we'll just go with green. And then for the legs, I believe it's just the same. There aren't really many green pieces, you know, with like boots or anything, sadly. So I think I just settled on, what's that one? No, it's too Iron Man like or Thor like or whatever it is. It's a Hydra version of one of the characters, I'm sure. And that's too bright, sadly. That would have been pretty cool, but it's, you know, it's bright green, so it doesn't work, sadly. Oh well. And there you go. So that is, I believe, yeah, I think that's done. So that is our custom made green arrow in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's, of course, the design. And I think he looks pretty cool. I'll just show you guys again. I'll show you that headpiece. Because I know some of you might prefer that one. If I can find it. I think it's down here. There it is. So there he is. That's kind of... That looks quite good for an unmasked version of Green Arrow. There he is. But for me, you know, there's not many pieces with masks. So I thought that Gorgons fit perfectly. There it is. Boom. I think that looks great. So we'll have that one. Now, of course, we're going to give him a weapon, and we're going to go with a bow. Now, there's lots of different bows you can give him. You can give him a short bow, a fancy short bow, or a compound bow. We're going to go with the compound bow. Right, so compound bow, and then we want to go with dark green, I guess. Or do we want to go with black? Let me see. No, I think I can go with green. Yeah, dark green. Yeah, that's that looks awesome. All right, cool. So it kind of looks a bit like how... Arrow did in uh, the Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham DLC, which was an awesome one, by the way. I really enjoyed that one. All right, for abilities, let's see here. So, techno access? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of got people on the other end telling them what to do and stuff, so you could have that. Uh, wall climbing, yes. Grapple, yes. No mind control, no magic. Deflect? No, we won't have that. No cracking Lego walls. Fix stuff? Mm, yeah, sure. Vine cut? Yeah. Super strength, no. Time manipulation, no. Portal create, no. Dig, yes. Tracking, yes. Alright, cool. So that's all the passive abilities. Then for square, you're going to go to tap square. You're going to go to bolts. And for the first time ever, we're actually going to be using the uh, bolt style 3. Because, of course, 
that shoots arrows. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, you just want to make that the arrows this color. I think it doesn't even change the color anyway. Um, but there you go. And then bolt targeting, you definitely want that. And then for damage, so I originally chose silver bolts because I thought, okay, so then I could make it so when he shoots a silver Lego object, it can blow stuff up. But at the same time, when he's against enemies, it'll still damage them. But when I used the silver bolts um, arrows, you know, from the custom character yesterday, when I was trying out this character, it didn't actually work. Like, I was shooting the guy with my arrows and his ar armor just wouldn't disappear. You know, it, it just did not do a thing. So, I don't know. Maybe we should just stick with heat bolts, but we'll put silver bolts on and you never know, we might be lucky and it might work. We might actually get it working this time. And there you go. So then he, of course, shoots arrows. I'm just making sure that's all correct. Yes. Bolt damage style, silver bolts. And he can target. Awesome. Hold. For hold, uh, nothing. I don't think we need anything on there. Circle, tap circle. Oh, no, you know what? No, that is not what I did, actually. I've just remembered now. Yep, I've just remembered. Okay, so it's tap square. I actually chose fighting. Now, you can actually fight with the bow, and it looks really, really cool. And I like how he can fight and shoot his bows at the same time. Shoot, shoot the bow and arrow at the same time. So, we're going to go with fighting. And then for hold square, we're, I don't think I chose anything, to be honest. I mean, you could go with targeted lunge if you want to. Nah, I think we'll just leave it. Yeah, we'll leave it. And then for circle tap circle you want to go to bolts then you want to go to weapon then you want to go to bolt style 3 then you want to go to bolt color make it that one bolt damage type silver bolts bolt target in yes so then you can shoot arrows and fight at the same time which is really really cool that is definitely what you want uh, you don't need any of them and that's pretty much it so that is all of the uh, passive square and circle abilities now of course X now this is where it gets interesting okay so when I did the Batman video and people asked for me to make Green Arrow next, they did say they wanted me to have, you know, to, to give Green Arrow the ability to, um, well, not web swing, but like we'll say grapple swing, like what I gave Batman. Because in my Batman video, I gave Batman a rope and it looked really cool because it looked like he was swinging through the city with his grapple hook. This, for Green Arrow, people want me to do the same, so hopefully you guys like this, because, you know, some of you might think it looks too much out of character, but you do see Green Arrow swinging sometimes in the show, you know, sw swinging into buildings and things like that, so I guess it could kind of work. But if you give him the double jump, you can see there he does the jump jump, but in gameplay, he doesn't do that at all, he actually does a flip, which is kind of cool. So sometimes I like to go with this. Other times, I would go with the web swing. But seeing as how you guys wanted the web swing, we'll go with that. All right. So, web style. Let's see. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. We definitely don't want that one. It's this one. Then, of course, for the color, I was going to go with black. Or maybe I will go with black, actually. Or should I go with green? Just because he's green arrow doesn't mean everything has to be green. Uh, I think we'll go with black, actually. I, I originally chose green, but no, that uh, almost gray rope actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. I really like the look of this. I think he looks great. Hopefully, you guys like him as well. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we've done hold. We don't want hold square. We don't want to be able to hyper jump. So, we've done passive, square, circle, X, now of course, and we've also done the appearance, the weapons. Now, of course, we're going to move on to passive traits. So, for the health, let's go with green. For the health type, we'll go with standard, that's fine, good. Voice, we'll go with voice 2, because we already use voice 1. Uh, movement speed, we'll go with default. Uh, target reticle, we'll go with... Hmm, which one should we go with? I guess just this one. I like to use that one quite a lot. And then that's it. Now, of course, we're going to go to miscellaneous and name him. So hopefully this will fit on. Green. Arrow. Green arrow. There we go. Nice. Background image. Uh, we'll probably just go with... Actually, no, you know what? That looks like the island. So that's kind of cool. No, I like that one much more. That looks awesome. There you go. Very cool. So that is our custom-made green arrow in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop 
our custom made green arrow into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is! This is, of course, our custom-made green arrow in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And I think he looks great, to be honest. I really do think he turned out really, really nice. We can just, uh, because we can't really turn the camera very well because I'm on this rooftop. But you can see that's the back, that's the front, those are the sides. Yeah, he looks awesome. So, what can he do? Well, we know the abilities we gave him, so... In terms of traversal, to get around, he can swing, which we kind of pretend is his grapple hook because I think that looks really cool to be honest you know it's like you do see him swinging and stuff in the show so I think it works you don't have to give him it but I just think it for the sake of a showcase it just looks cool and of course we gave him climbing ability because you know I know he's not spider-man I know he not, can't climb walls but he he's very athletic and you know he can get around really well so I think it looks cool climbing buildings and stuff especially when you do it like you know like that you're like, oh, I need to get up this bit, and then I get up to this bit, and then this bit. Wow, this building's tall. And there you go. So, it just kind of works, really. So, I think there's some bad guys down here somewhere. Nah, probably unrelated. Yep, here's some mummies. Alright, let's take care of these mummies. So, we for attacks, we gave him these. This, uh bow and arrow you know where he, he swings the bow at people which I think is awesome and then of course we gave him this as well where he can aim his arrows at people so he can do pretty much everything you'd want him to be able to do all right let's get swinging I really want to check out uh, Noir New York as Green Arrow I think that'd look pretty interesting so let's go do that we all right <laughs> Swing, Oliver, swing! I think this should look pretty interesting. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Let's have a look at this. Alright. Yeah, it looks cool. Now, unfortunately, even though he is athletic, it doesn't let you use these. It just doesn't. I don't know why. We can't use them. But, joke's on them, we could just do that. <laughs> Can he use these? He must be able to use these. Come on. Yeah, that looks cool. We can hop across here. Oh, there's some more bad guys around here somewhere. Over here. Wait, really? What? Where are they? Whoa, easy. Ow. Okay, hang on. I think it looks pretty awesome getting a swing through the through the city with uh, Green Arrow. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. All right, apparently there's some bad guys up here. Have I ever met these guys before? Like these specific bad guys? I'm trying to get up. Ah, I'm trying to get up. Don't mind the sky swinging. <laughs> oh, hello. All right, here we go. Take that. Cut off one head and ah, uh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> is that it? Or is there one left? I feel like there's one left, or a few left. I can hear some funny noises, so I wonder if that's the robots. The Hydra bots. Ah, here they are. Hey guys. Bye bye. He said that. I guess that's the new way of saying thanks. That. Here, I made you a coffee. That. Alright. Whoa. Whee! Green Arrow is going to take care of all these Hydra people. Let's get up there. Boom, there we go. Hmm. Solo. I can't decide which one I love the most. Oh. Is there no bad guys in Hydra HQ? You would have thought. Did you hear that exclusive? 
I have an urgent request from Madam Hydra. No. You guys could totally give Green Arrow the ability to, you know, just shoot arrows with square. But I really love that fighting style. I just think it's cool to be able to fight with this custom made Green Arrow. So that's why I wanted that for square. And then I decided to give Circle, you know, Circle be his, uh, you know, the ability to shoot arrows and stuff. Oh, he missed. Never misses. Let me take that car. Hey. Let me get that, let me get that car. Okay, never mind. We don't need the car. We got our grapple. We're fine. Now we're in ancient Egypt. Ooh. I've just realized I haven't been to the one place that would actually look really cool with Green Arrow, and that would be Wakanda. Because if you go into like the forest bit, it looks like the island from the show. So we should probably head there. I guess, yeah, I guess that's what we should do. All right. Let's take this guy's car, and then we'll head on there. Head on over there. Excuse me, can I have your vehicle, please? No! No, come back! I need it! For research! No! I want that car! Please! I need it! I'll pay you back, or I'll give it back eventually. I just need to borrow it. Yes, hello, hello. Yes. Hi. Oliver Queen here. Oh, come on. I'm going to get this vehicle, whether it's the last thing I do. Hello. Hi. Yes. Um. Oh, it keeps switching. Looks like some trouble is brewing where you Oh, well, we got some trouble anyway. I'll get you later. Oh, quite a fight we're getting into here. All right, let's see if uh, Hawkeye and Green Arrow can do a cool special move. You ready for this? What the heck? <laughs> what? Marvel and DC getting on. Who would have thought it? <laughs> I'm only kidding. I love both. All right. Guys need to stop. Almost there. Yeah. Nice fighting, Oliver. Alright. Let's head on back to Wakanda. We're just gonna kinda, kinda loop around basically, and we should get there pretty quickly. But still, it's fun to explore the other areas of the map with uh, Green Arrow. <laughs> I love the music in this game. How it's varied in each area, it's just so cool. It's different in every single place in Chronopolis. It's really neat. I'm gonna throw you off the edge. Is he is he gonna live? Is he gonna live? <laughs> wow, I'll be, he did live. Can I fight him underwater? Wait a minute, can I shoot him from up there? Yes! Look at that! Nice! Partner. That was awesome! Good job, Oliver. Okay, let's get moving. Like found some real good loot down in that river. I haven't actually shown you guys this feature yet. You can actually like hitch a ride on here. I don't think I've shown this yet. So we don't even have to move. We could just fly back wherever we want to go. Yeah, can you take me to Wakanda, please? Mm. 
Whoa, I think it is taking me to Wakanda. Well, it's taking me somewhere. Like, around that area, so that's good. No, we don't want to stop here. So if you want to get out, you just press triangle. If you want to keep going, you just stay in. You actually get, like, an in-game... Not an achievement or trophy, like, on the PlayStation or Xbox or Steam or anything like that. You get, like, an in-game award for riding this and not stopping the whole way. So basically all around Chronopolis that you can go to. Look at that! That's awesome. I love that. Where you going? I think you're like looping back around or something. Hang on. We'll get there. We will get there, I, I hope. Yeah, I certainly hope so. Yep, I think we do, because I think you go over here and then it like loops back around. You know what though? We could probably just jump out now and we can get there on our own. Thanks anyway, Kango Rail. That's what it's called, the Kango Rail. Because everything has to be named after Kang. Because he has an enormous ego. Whoa. Medieval England. Not where we want to be, but still looks cool. Kind of suits the character. Ow. Oh, bad guys. Let's go deal with these guys. Why not? Hello? Anyone here? Yes, they are. Take that! Oh, it's on! Come here, you. I'm gonna throw you into... No! No! Ah, oh, no! I wanted to throw him into stuff! Oh, well. I thought I was a goner! Hey, let's take a horse and ride it into Wakanda. Because why not? We're not rushing, you know. We're just taking our time exploring Chronopolis. Because I love it. It's my favorite open world and Lego game to date, definitely. Yeah, let's take this horse. See, just little things like that is what I love. The fact that I can just take a horse and go for a ride, or take a vehicle, or just anything. That guy's still talking. If not, let me know, and I'll get Winston to saddle up. Oh, sure, he'll complain, but that's what he gets for eating my yogurt. Winston ate his yogurt. That's not good. My yogurt. Oh, come on. Nearly there. You yeah, haven't got that like, far to go. Seriously. Oh, come on. That is like right there. Are you serious? Alright, fine. You win. Well, the game clearly wasn't going to let me get up there with the horse, so let's uh, let's swing up there instead, I guess. The forest of Wakanda is like over here somewhere. It's like right at the back of the city. Ooh. Now we're in the hills. I think we're at the top of Wakanda right now. If we look up, look down, I mean. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. This is that's where we want to be down there. Oh, bad guys. Uh, okay, let's go take care of them and then we'll have a wander around the forest because this will probably look really cool in that area. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? I don't think I've ever fought you before. I mean, not in this area at least. Get out of here. Boom. That's them done for. Nice. I have like four million studs, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Alright, let's hop down here and check out the forest. <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome. It reminds me of the, the uh, DLC that they did for Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, you know, the mission area. Is it the Lian Yu? Is that the name of the island? I cannot remember for some reason, but I think it's the Lian Yu. Um, yeah, it reminds me of that. 
so it does actually kind of look like the island when you when you position the camera like that. So it's quite cool. There you go. Whoa! Don't block my shot. Thank you. Yeah, this looks pretty sweet. And we can swing through the jungle. Look at this. It's like Tarzan. <laughs> I have another Poseidon problem. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we should just head on back to Manhattan now. Because I think we've kind of shown everything. Shown enough of uh, Green Arrow. I'm going to take these out. Because it's always fun to do. Wow, that, that like third shot was pretty interesting. Oh yeah, he can do that as well, that's pretty cool. Even if you don't give him melee attacks, I think he still does that when you jump and press square. So that's a little bit useful to know. There you go, boom. Ah! I don't know what the heck happened there. We'll land on top of here. Because why not? What's this race? Oh, it's a flight. Oh, well. Alright, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Because this was a pretty cool one to make. When I was doing this one last night and I was trying to work out how to make Green Arrow, I settled on the Star-Lord head. And then, you know, I looked at some of the faces I hadn't unlocked yet. And I saw Gorgons. And I was like... I think Gorgon is unlockable through the Inhumans level. I think you can find that in there. And I could. And as soon as I saw that face, I was like, there you go. That is Green Arrow. So I am really happy with this one. I think it's the best you can do. And yeah, I think he looks super cool. I think there are actually, you know, like Green Arrow costumes where his arms are sleeveless. So you could totally go for that as well. But I kind of based this on the... Arrow minifigure from Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham while also kind of changing a few things. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out, and I hope you guys are too. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon, and as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.